Have you ever noticed the variety of just a dog? I mean, all dogs we now know, because we can do this genetic mapping, that all of the information to make this enormous variety from, from little chihuahuas to Great Danes, from, from wiener dogs to bulldogs, from poodles to dash hounds, all that variety was all locked into the original DNA book of, of like a gray wolf, a wolf type dog creature. And as little things are bred together and little pups are bred together, they eventually eliminate all the information except for a certain look. But why the variety? It's because dogs have many more chromosomes than human beings. Now, th that's like a chromosome, if our entire DNA was like a library, the chromosome's like a book in that library. And it's like, wow, that's interesting. Dogs have more books in their library than human beings have in their library. Are they more evolved than us? Well, no, they're just different. God made them different. And being different doesn't mean that one sort of an animal turned into another. It just means God made them different. If you look at the skull of a little chihuahua, it's got this high domed forehead, like, like almost like a little human skull. If you look at the skull of a bulldog, it's got a, a jaw that's stuck way out in a sloped forehead. If you look at a wolf or, or a coyote or most dogs, it's got a very sloped forehead. You could line them up and say, well, here's a sloped forehead and here's a big jawed dog and then here's this big brained dog, big brain and a very small dog. That small dog must be smarter. It must have evolved different. No, it has nothing to do with evolution. It has to do with variety built into the dog DNA book. The same is true with human skulls. Many people are trained to believe, well, you can line up skulls we find in the ground and show that some humans that were died had sloped foreheads and other humans had small brains and other humans had big brains and this proves evolution has happened. Again, it's variety within a kind. In some cases, humanity has degenerated and deteriorated from inbreeding and lack of nutrition, creating very deformed skulls that are not apes in the process of turning into humans, but degenerated humans. In other cases, there's been lots of variety of apes, not proving apes have turned into humans, but just showing variety. So the vastness of the variety of dogs illustrates that there's a vast variety of apes and a vast variety of humans and none of it proves evolution. It actually all points towards creation.